Hello ROS developers and welcome to a new video about how to program with ROS. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to answer these questions on ROS answers. I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of this user. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical courses, everything online about ROS using simulated robots. No installation is required. You'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the question. So basically the user wants to be sure, 100% sure, that his script is processing a single message inside a callback. So basically he has a camera that is publishing at 30 Hertz, but the problem is that of course have computations and the scripts, uh, the, his computer can only process at five Hertz. So basically he doesn't want to process old images. Okay, so let's start I'm going to use RDS in order to show that. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using RDS for free. Just follow in the description, the link in the description beneath of the video. Okay, so I'm going to start creating a new project here. I'm going to call it Q&A, uh, callback, processing, the same for the description, let's create. Okay, let's open the project and wait a few seconds until the environment's ready. There it is. So I'm going to start creating a package. Let's keep the ID also open. I'm going to put it to the right side. Okay, let's have some other web shells open. They may be useful in the next minutes. So let's start going to the Catkin workspace and I'm going to create a workspace here. Uh, sorry, a package. I'm going to call it my package that relies on Raspi and standard messages. There it is. Here we have. Uh, so let's create a folder called scripts and a new file. I'm going to call it publisher because I'm going to simulate a publisher that works at 30 Hertz. Actually, I don't have a camera publisher here, but I'm going to simulate the, the situation and the subscriber, which is the one that is going to, uh, is going to process the images. Okay. So let's check. We have, okay. Inside my package. Let's check if we have permissions for the files, my package scripts. There it is. So now let's start with the publisher. I'm going to start with some Python stuff and I'm going to import RossPy, of course, and a standard message int32. Let's define the publisher method. And basically what I'm doing here is just to define a publisher object. That's the name of the topic, topic name, and the kind of the message and the queue size. So I'm using 10. So you can see that there is, uh, there is a chance, there is a possibility that we have old messages in the queue, but we want to avoid these messages. Okay. So the name of the node publisher, the rate of publishing this message, 30 Hertz, the same example of the user. And here I'm just counting this variable and I'm publishing from one to 30. And then I'm sleeping to make sure the rate of publishing and just printing the value we are publishing. Okay, so let's start here. Opening ROS car and ROS run. Uh, okay, so first I have to compile my catching workspace because we have some, because we have a, a new package there. So I have to generate some files. Okay, in the meantime, let's start with the subscriber. Okay, actually, I have to finish my publisher just some Python convention here to start from this function. There it is. And ROS run my package publisher. There it is. 
you can check in the other shell there we have topic name so rust topic echo topic name and there it is we have messages from 1 to 30 okay so now let's start with the subscriber uh, what do we need here basically I'm gonna use Python also I'm gonna import the same libraries they are necessary also for the subscriber and I'm gonna create two variables here to control the the flow of the our script the first one is gonna tell us if we are processing some message or not and if we have a new message or not in the callback okay so let's start defining I'm going to put it here so I don't forget. Let's define our listener. We have the listener message, uh, listener function here, and we are using the global variables new message, message, message is going to be, uh, for instance, just none. You're going to fill it with a message from the callback. So let's initialize our node. Then we have to initialize the subscriber and we are assigning a method called callback. So let's define it callback and we receive data and we are going to also use the global variables inside of it. So let's have it define it here. After having the subscriber define it, I'm going to use here uh, Raspi rate, but only to use the sleep method, okay? Not because we have to follow this rate to process the images, the images, let's say, but in this case, it's just, uh, we're just simulating. And I'm gonna define here that if we have a new message, I want to process this image or the, the message. So I'm gonna set the processing variable to true, processing, equals to true and also the message that we are processing is not new anymore because we know it already we are actually processing it so I'm gonna simulate now a process that takes 0.2 seconds so our sleep and our process is just for instance, printing the message we have, okay, and then set the processing variable to false to tell the callback method that it's free to process a new message, okay. Uh, now in the callback method, if we are not processing an old message, There is a new message and we can assign to the message variable the data we have just received in the callback okay basically that's it now let's test it and basically the result of the test have to be uh, let's say we are just printing the variable so we have to have uh, from 1 to 30 at 30 Hertz we have to receive only five different messages of those 30 messages that are being published in in this window of a second okay so let's try it rust run my package subscriber and there it is so basically from 1 to 30 we are reading one, two, three, four, five different messages. That's because we are working at five hertz. Okay. So what if we sleep twice? Let's do the following test. Just to make sure that we are not overwriting the message, the value of the message in the meantime. Of course, the callback method is being called, but we have to ignore while we are processing an old message. Okay. So let's do this test here and make sure we have the same message, the same data being Printing printed here, okay. So there it is. So we are receiving 30 messages every second, but we are reading only because we are working at now the rate is is 10 hertz because we are sleeping twice. 
So we have one, two, then two and a half, let's say, because next time we have only two messages. Okay, so that's it. I hope it can help you. Uh, that's all for today. In the description of the video, you will find a complete course about ROS basics, where you find about ROS nodes, ROS publisher, uh, the basics of ROS that will allow you to keep going and push your ROS learning. Okay? Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to receive a new video about ROS every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!